Well, Arsalan Iftikhar is senior editor at the Islamic Monthly magazine. He's also the author of Scapegoats, How Islamophobia Helps Our Enemies and Threatens Our Freedoms. He joins us now from Washington. Thank you for being with us. So I want to ask you, first of all, then, what you made of uh, President Obama's uh, comments uh, uh, addressing uh, this issue of the fact that, that he hasn't, uh, that he doesn't mention, that he doesn't talk about this as uh, radical Islam. Well, Hazem, I think it's important to keep in mind that, you know, Donald Trump is really just trying to score some cheap political points out of a horrific tragedy. I mean, you know, less than, uh, you know, less than a week ago, we had 50 innocent uh, LGBTQ uh, people in the United States, minorities, many of whom are people of color themselves, who were brutally murdered in an act of homophobic mass murder. And at a time when we, our country needs to be unified based on race, religion, ethnicity, and sexual orientation, uh, and all other diversity identities that we have, it's, it's, it's really quite telling that people like Donald Trump would try to take a victory lap on going on Twitter saying things like, I appreciate the congratulations, uh, you know, after such a dastardly tragedy. And I think that President Obama was acting like the presidential statesman that he is. But about the fact that he hasn't, uh, that up to now he, he, never, he never mentioned uh, radical Islam, uh, the fact that he addressed this now, uh, essentially saying that it really doesn't matter what you call it, it matters how we respond to it, essentially. W what did you make of that? Well, you know, because we're calling it out for what it is. You know, Donald Trump is using this, you know, nomenclature debate as a red herring. Um, you know, as though if, if calling, uh, calling terrorism by a certain name is going to alleviate it if you say it three times and a genie is going to pop out of a bottle. Uh, because Donald Trump has no policies that will actually help make us safer as Americans. Uh, as President Obama has said, as many commentators have said, whether it's the Orlando gay nightclub shooting, whether it's Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut, whether it's the Aurora Dark Knight movie theater massacre, the one thing that they all had in common was the AR-15 semi-automatic assault rifle. I mean, if you look at the last, over the last year, we've had over 350 mass shootings in the United States, and 99% of them have not been committed by Muslims. We need to focus on the fact that this was an act of homophobic mass murder, and homophobia has a long, tragic history in the United States, and LGBT community and the Muslim community uh, you know, are at that intersection of scapegoated minorities in the United States today. Just coming back to Trump's comments uh, about Islam, I mean, the, the fact is, and, and this must be an uncomfortable fact, that, that res what he said resonates uh, with plenty of ordinary Americans when he equates Islam with terrorism and violence. And that explains not only Trump's success as a, as a presidential candidate, but the, the, the fact that I mean, this, this is something that uh, many, many ordinary people there uh, seem to agree with. I mean, so how do you counter, as, as a Muslim American yourself, how do you counter that? Well, as an American, I mean, the FBI, the Countering Terrorism Center at West Point Academy, uh, virtually every law enforcement agency in the country has, has shown that the vast majority of terrorist attacks that have occurred here in the United States uh, over the last 10 or 15 years have not been committed by brown men who happen to be of the Muslim faith. They happen from right-wing white uh, ultra-nationalist, uh, you know, militia members here in the United States. Sadly, you know, when it comes to politics, a lot of times you're dealing with people, uh, you know, who are just basing their uh, reactions on emotions and 10-second sound bites. And so that's why it's important for us to unify as a nation uh, and call out terrorism regardless of who the perpetrator is and regardless of who the victims are. Arsalan Iftikhar, thanks very much for being with us.